Hello and welcome back to Let's Play X3 Albion Preludes. Sorry in, you know, anticipation that the sound will be bleeding through, but currently I have a fan on. Hmm. I just thought, have I got all my equipment back? Oh yeah, it doesn't matter anymore because it's older ship, so I'm assuming it did. Anyway, yeah, it's literally boiling in here, it's roughly 25 degrees centigrade. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm not even going to try and work it out because I don't know the formula for it either. Yeah, good start. Anyway, let's go to... Oops, sorry about that. The um, Weaponsmith, that's... Um, Argon Prime. Ah, yes. Uh, I need energy also. Good start! Yeah, right, okay. So let's see, you should have, if nothing else, the laser tower. Don't you? Yeah, you got the laser tower. And the crystal cellars sitting. No, no, it's not the right one. Hmm. Oh, what should be sitting there again? The Demeter Miner should be sitting there. But we'll have a look at that in a wee second. There we go. Uh, we'll get that much. And let's have a look. Argon Prime Weaponsmith. Uh, yes, yeah, Serenity is there. <laughs> so. Um, advanced. Nope. D. And then. Give me that laser tower. Yeah. Right, and. You, navigation, jump to sector. Ah, you can. Okay, navigation, the wall, solar power plant L. We'll wait for her to come through the gate. I'll not actually make her go through to the station though. Hmm, <laughs> sorry about that, my nose is a bit blocked, it seems. Probably try and unblock it if you give me a second. So, one moment. Yep, the room this warm and I'm developing what feels like a cold. Yay! Also, I just noticed my joystick's not connected. Ah. So what I'll do is I'll do what I'm saying. Then I'll, you know, be back once I restart the game. Oh, I unplugged the joystick because I was playing XCOM and it makes XCOM go a bit screwy. Also, quite interesting moral questions, in it. Should man um, play with technology when it's too far in advance of itself? Species looking to enlighten itself? How much power should it actually be given? Right, you, just stop. I'm gonna just use a keyboard for now. It's quite, you know, tempting just to chew at it for the fun. But, yeah. So we'll give you those energy cells and we'll dock at this ourselves now. Oh, President's in. There's a Falcon Vanguard just sitting there. Ooh. So if you give me a moment, I'll be back and then we'll go and fish up that um, Vanguard. And welcome back. Sorry about that. You know, I should have plugged in the joystick beforehand. Huzzah! So anyway, what we're doing, we're about to go to President's Inn. Don't know which gate, so we'll go with the north gate, I guess. And we'll figure out where there's a pirate falcon just sitting there out right in the middle of nowhere. So, a falcon vanguard. I'm actually quite surprised that this is just sitting here. Rather eerie, actually, personally. 
So navigation, you can follow me, please. Oh, I just thought. Um, what's your auto jump set to? Off. Activate it, please. Mm, that's all. So we'll make our way over to this ship and we'll capture it. If we can. I have no idea what's happening here, so we might not be able to capture it. Yeah. And that music just makes it all the more eerie. Thankfully not like the game though. Yeah, no, I'm doing that currently. So. What shielding you got right now? Cool, currently fitted with 325 megajoules. So, why are you alone? Hmm. What have you got anyway? Yeah, just 325 megajoule shields. Hmm. Now, I'm pretty sure NPCs don't leave their ships on their own volition when they're being targeted by another NPC. So I'm awfully curious what happened, to say the least. Hmm. But we'll just fix this up quickly. Shouldn't take too long. Mm, yeah, I'm a little disconcerted by the fact that this ship's just sitting here, but if it happens in a regular occurrence, I'm, you know, going to be happy about it. It's not a bad appearance, but still is a bit surprising, to say the least. Nope, oh, there we go. Um, now, I don't think the Falcon's very good, personally. I'm pretty sure if I remember right. But it'll give us a nice amount of money. Let's have a quick look at the stats, and I'll make my mind up from there. It's a slow ship. Not a lot of cargo bay, which is surprising for a Taladi ship. And the maximum steering is quite slow. It's not the slowest, but it's pretty slow. It's about um, comparable to the Centaur right now, I believe. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, well, it's actually a little more manoeuvrable than the centaur. Anyway, that we're not here really to debate that. If I jump over to Black Hole Sun, she should be able to follow along behind. We'll actually jump to Belt of Ag Actually, we'll go to a system that we got sensor coverage. There we go. This one will do. And she should follow us along into the jump. Now we can get rid of these bloody laser towers and get onto a decent part of the quest. Or what I'm hoping is a decent part. Yeah, she's following us. Good. So we'll go back through the gate. Very nice, there's like two planets with two moons, very close to each other though. Hmm. Alas, it matters not. So we'll go back through and make our way back to Albion Gamma, I believe it was. What was it again? Oh, it was Alpha. Wasn't it? My missions, activate guidance. Three laser towers. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I'll be an alpha. Oh, you know what? Tell with it. Jump device 
Ray Fane. Ooh. So yeah, a bit awkward. Not much to see. <laughs> oh, just gonna sit here like. Nah, we can't sit in complete silence. That'd be all. Oh, hello. One minute. What the hell? Where are you? I don't think I've seen that ship before. Is that a fal- yes, yeah, falcon. Never mind. See, I saw it from like that angle and only saw the front half of the ship. I don't know. Just me going mad. You are listening to ramblings of a madman, after all. Go boop 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 And there you go. Now it's completely authentically mad. <laughs> anyway. Hmm. I wonder if I should actually just scan people in the way there. Because I may be able to find a smuggler, and if I can find a smuggler, I may be able to take their wares. Like this punk. Are you a smuggler? Let me scan your ship. You have nothing. You have nothing. I'm gonna get quickly bored of this, don't worry. You have nothing. Oh. Right, final one. I can't be bothered really doing this much. Uh, and you have nothing. Oh. Okay. Well, whatever. Just make our way through the gate. Hopefully we're close to Alvin Gamma. No, Alpha. Or it is Gamma. I think it's Gamma, then it goes on to Beta and Alpha. Yeah, Gamma, Beta, Alpha. Anyway. I thought we did have some energy cells though. Yeah, we have 10. Hmm. Okay, can I phrase exchange with her? Uh, ah, if I can't take one of them. Ah, uh, you can take my fire drones. I need some more room. I need another hundred units. Ooh. I could just get 50 of these over, pretty much. Right, take my laser tower. And you can have the wasp missiles back. Yeah, I'll do that. Right, and then I should be able to go Belt of Aguilar, Northgate. Uh, you can just, in the meantime, dock at the Free Argon Trading Station. Because you should be fine, I don't believe there's any Terrans out here. Nasty Terrans. So yeah, we got everything. Just make our way back through the gate. Now we're out of energy cells, we don't have to worry about... Um... You know, stuff. Oh, try and find the word. What about not using the turbo booster? Because, yeah, we're completely out of energy cells. Also, the fastest way of using it seems to just be pulsing on and off. Uh, see these bleeding things? This is what I don't like. See the transorbital accelerators? You cannot use a jump gate for them. At all. Uh, jump drive, not jump gate for them.
So, we'll move quickly over and we'll drop the towers. I'm sorry about the noise spam, it's just the fastest way of travelling it seems. There we go. So, we'll get all the way through this sector and that'll be the end of it. I cannot be bothered actually cycling it. A Tracy's plants? A pirate Kia. Hmm. And navigate around these asteroids and stations. Um, yeah. So soon we'll finally have that horrible ass mission over where it's like, yes, find laser towers! And I'm like, Fah! Nowhere ever has laser towers. It pisses me off. It's kind of like weaponry. Nowhere has weaponry 90% of the time. And then when you don't need the weaponry, you end up finding it everywhere and you're like, Hmm. Seriously? It's a little bit ludicrous sometimes, let's just see. Anyway. I can only guess that we're coming into a big fight soon. So I'm going to use boost extension to get a little bit closer. Now I think about it, I'll probably end up using the boost extension in the combat. Hmm. Well, whatever. So we'll boost, bolster the defences of the Braille research. Hmm, assuming a little bit closer will be good enough. So. Oops, crap. Well, whatever. Can you provide me with energy cells to get here then? I would gladly appreciate it. Don't Have you got energy cells? Of course you don't! Uh, okay. Let's not be down about it. Or not too badly down about it. It's quite funny, my laser towers only last a specific amount of time, theirs last forever, it's kind of saddening. Uh, of course there's no easy way out of this. That would be silly! Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Because they need the energy cells and I need them as well. Well, whatever. Looks like someone's selling a transport. We may as well go and have a conversation with them. The Cayman, I believe it has front firing weaponry, but it's not that worth that much. Oops. I do like the Centaurs. Centaur class ships are pretty much an average in Corvettes, like all Argon technology. The thing about Argons is they're very middle of the roads. They're not great at anything, but they're good at everything. Uh. 
So, we need computer chips. Oh, pirate buzzard. Pirate buzzard. Um, hello. You're flying a bit close to someone that could blow you up. Like me. Yeah. Toodles. Sorry, I felt like it. Uh, so we have a solar power plant, that's a godsend, so to speak. So, a computer plant. You need meat sticks. Right. I believe it's a computer plant that makes computer chips. No, it makes computer components. It's a, micro it's a chip plant that makes microchips, but is it. Ooh, is it microchips we need? No, it's computer components. Okay. One step at a time, I guess. So let's think. Meat steaks. Where's the closest place for meat steaks? I'll have a look after I get into this, of course. Oh, hello. Oh, pirates! Ooh. Interesting. Probably gonna die before getting anywhere near there. But interesting nonetheless. Yeah, 320, whatever. So. Pirates? No, there's no pirates. Oh, the pirates are deaded. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Orbital accelerator. Albion Gamma. Albion Gamma. Hmm. So. Don't you just love fetch quests? I'm sorry, I'm very exasperated right now, like. Uh, seriously. I want to just shoot something. Eh, whatever. So. <laughs> so where can I go? Right, let's have a look at the map. Right, okay. Nope. 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 Ah. Right. Nope. 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 At least none of the places we've actually found and those that I've just went nope to. Hmm. It seems that computer plants are one of the rarest things to ever find. Right, what if we have a look in the treasure chest? Nope. Uh, the computer planet and thing we, Omicron Lyrie. Um, Omicron Lyrie. We'll come out the west gate. There we go. Oh. Good, I'm not attacked right out the gate. That's always a good, good sign. There is Majolniers here, though, and Terran Rapiers, which interestingly aren't aggressive. Computer plan. So they have 157 of what I need. So there's always one upside, I guess. There we go. I believe this was a computer plant. I thought I saw a ship going past. I'm going mad, don't worry. Uh, Connection to 
Uh, you know these energy cells? You can have, say, a hundred of them. Okay. I'll take all of them. So, we're partly on our way. Right, where was the next place that had them? Cattle Ranch, Sun Oil Refinery, Computer Plant, PT and I. Thought so. Had to be PT and I, because they're Talari, of course. There we go. So. <sighs> Sorry about that, yawning. Arrgh, so you got yourself another bloody transport. You should never have had a transport ship to start with. All I told you to do was eject from the station. What do you do? You crash into the frickin' station. Of course! You know, that's how you eject from it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, whatever. It's all done and gone, I guess. Hmm. The Shriek is quite cheap. A Shrike, I mean, it's quite cheap. Very slow. Probably got heavily shielding, though. Yeah, it's got heavy shielding. Most um, M7s only have about two or three one gigajoule shields. And this has got a whole four. The only problem is you have to find one gigajoule shields, which are quite difficult. Not massively hard. Can be done with relative ease. Certainly a lot easier than finding computer components. The rest of this episode will probably be me filling up um, this plant with energy cells and complaining about having to do it. So, I'm sorry about that in anticipation. Uh, and also being stopped by asteroids and other geo and geographical obstacles. Yes, I know where to... Nom, 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 nom. I know I'm not flying into an asteroid, so please let me just fly. Thank you. You can take them. I'll try and find another source of energy cells. In the meantime, let's have a look at stock exchange. Should be able to make some money off of this. I mean, that is Taladi. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think there's also a ship here. I'm, like docked at this station, I believe. Yeah, there's Halcyon. That's oh, been a while. Ah, uh, the peaceful. Nothing I really want from her, to be honest. She, at this point, just kind of around for a novelty. But I'll probably sell her and rename another ship after her. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Uh, it's not there yet. Wait a minute, it must be there. I'll figure it out in a wee second where it's gone. It might be at the equipment dock. Have a message? All oh, right, yeah. Okay, sure. We'll pay your little administration fee, as we call it, with quotation marks. Um. Buy everything with a share over a hundred. Oops. There we go. I think that's everything anyway. Yeah. Leave the rest of the stuff alone. And we'll make our way to... Profit Center Alpha has no... 
Um, solar power plants. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. I found one that chose defeat. So we'll make our way over to Cho's Defeat, which is this east gate. That's west. Oh no, it is the west gate. There we go. So we'll make our way over there. Ah, uh, yes. Hopefully by the end of this episode though, we'll have the energy s No, not energy cells. I wish I had the energy cells I needed. We'll have the computer components we require, and we can get out of here. So. Yeah, something in my eye. It's been irritating. But whatever. Anyway. Yeah. So like a little tiny fly bugs me off when you have those. And I don't know why it seems to think the best place to go is my frickin' eye. <coughs> anyway, whatever. Just make our way over to Cho's defeat. Hopefully we can not suffer a defeat at the hands of crashing into freighters. The next kill mission I'll probably take it. So we have something fun to do. Anyway. I remember fighting many, many pirates with that music going on in the background. I believe I've mentioned this about a million times beforehand though, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, two grand, we're now going to the west gate. Half tempted just to take that kill mission. So we have some entertainment. Actually, you know what? I'll meet you up at Cho's Defeat. So, until then... Yeah. Oh! An emergency signal from Atreus's Clouds. So Atreus's Clouds... Just a pirate elite. Okay. No biggie. So, give me a second, I'll be back. So, finally we're at Cho's Defeat. Um, We have a kill mission. Which... I may take, we'll have a look. Also, I was looking at the dragon here. It's quite cheap, considering, and it's a lot faster than the ship we're currently in. Gotta be honest, I do like the heavy centaur, though. I like a wall of armor between me and the outside world that's planning and killing me. Um. A space fly collector is kind of tempting. Can I grab another? Uh, a seven million though. Uh, nah, we'll leave that. Uh, but we'll carry on. So, go and dock at the station. Find out how much it is to jump there. And then we'll probably be doing jumps between back and forth instead of this. Hmm. One hundred and sixty thousand. No, one hundred and sixty. Bah. Thinking of Bob's energy cells. One hundred and sixty energy cells. We'll jump over to um, PT and IHQ to make him completely acronym. Um, 
I'll have a look at our stocks quickly. Ah, look. We're making money. Yes. We now have three million in the bag from that. I kind of like stock exchanges, but I think they also kind of break the game a little. But in a good way, though. It does take a little touch to learn how they actually work, which is a good thing. So yeah, there we go. Anyway. Go to the computer plant. How many cells does it take to go to Cho's Defeat? Cho's Defeat is 50 energy cells. Okay. Did you... Oh, you made four for the 60 I gave you. I'm sorry, that's very loud, I think. ba dum ba -da. Very good musical. I think. The Talati Company are delighted for the opportunity to make great profits with such as you. Welcome on board. Now they were gonna say off of someone su such as you, but they decided to change that. Um so sixty no not hundred and sixty. Ah bugger. Sixty I think that'll take us a jump sure, but no, uh, that's fine. Oh no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's all good. So Oh yeah, the bloody solar power plants are on the other side of the system, you moron. Ah, uh, whatever. We need another forty one. Need another forty one. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I love the game, but this is not the most favourite part, believe it or not. No, don't dock. Teleport. There we go. I'm trying to think what's closer. Yeah, it's definitely this one. Uh, so. How's the stock exchange doing now? Still gonna lose me money if I sell that. Hmm. I could grab transparent crystal because it's starting to get quite high, but promotional plates looks a bit better. Yeah, it's quite terrible. I'm talking about selling promotional plates. Oh dear. Ooh. Anyway, where did you land? Anyway, there we go. So. You can become... Halcyon. I believe that's right. Yep, it's spelled right. Um, navigation, door cats. PTIHQ. Shipyard. Is there anything out of the shipyard? Actually, is there anything in here? PT and IHQ apart from that? Um, Cloud Base, Kingdom Ends. Has an overrider. Uh, interesting. 
No, it's just mean uh, um, house in here. I guess I'm trying to find the fastest ship then. Is what I'll do. I'll probably sell the Halcyon and get uh, whatever that ship was called again. But a tree, you see, these clouds. Ah, okay. Good. I'm assuming that was the one that was training in all skills. Because it took hell of a long bloody time. Military outpost, information. Yeah, I was the last one to train up. So, let's have a look. You. 42 in fighting. 68 in fighting. I'll hire, with quotation marks, him. Um, it's quite tempting just to buy the boarding pods for now, for later. Yeah, but we'll do that another time. There we go. Yes, yes. I'm sure you are willing, um, looking forward to the opportunity to rip me off. So, uh, I'm probably going to do this myself, so give me a second and then I'll be back. And I've also forgot to do the timer, so blah. Ooh, nice. More some money. Yeah, sorry, I just thought I'd say that and go, ooh, shiny. Anyway, yeah, we're making quite a nice bit of money off the stock exchange. We're making like three or four thousand so far there. A million so far there. In general. So, yeah. Stock exchanges are pretty damn useful, let's just say. Anyway, uh, Talati Shipyards. 151, and how much is it for that kite? No, it's not the kite, it's something faster. The Kestrel, that's what it was. 131,000. Uh, I might just get this. And fly it myself instead of letting the computer fly it because I heard a computer is dreadful at flying that. So, yeah. Grab all of that, all of that. Oops. Crap. And the cash roll. Upgrade ships. And some of that. Um, trading system. Um, carrier command. Launch fighter. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Hmm. May have a look at that when I have, you know, something closer to a fleet. Anyway. I just came up with an idea. What I can do is just take 40 instead, right? Then jump to Patriarch's Keep and go to the North Gate. Yeah! So, anyway. As I said, give me a bit and I'll try and get those um, computer components while you're not looking. Pretty much. Wait a minute. You know what I've just noticed? This is computer plant beta. Where is alpha? Hmm. I'll have to try and find that. Anyway. Uh, so close. 
I'll give you the last of them. Right? I'll take all of them. I'll start flying towards the station. The shipyard, I mean. Pro probably take the ship and I'll fly around in it. That's what actually intrigued me. Um. Okay. Used to be known as PTNI, I believe. Um, I don't know what PTNI was. Panerit Navidium Trading Industry, I think. Uh, I could be wrong with that, but I think it was Panerit Navidium something. Or Private Navidium. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. We'll get inside our Kestrel. And we shall freight exchange with her. We'll take the Turbo Booster. The Triplex Scanner, please. Mm. And the Dolkin Computer. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. Ooh. It's a lot more manoeuvrable than a Fingley Centaur, but I believe the um, Halcyon was a lot more manoeuvrable. No weaponry, of course, because I'm just flying it around as a, as a scout ship. That'd be something I forgot. It matters not, though. <laughs> oh, oh, come on! That was that was cool. The couple of seconds it lasted. Give me a second while I just travel at a thousand odd meters per second. Uh, I'm trying to spot by eyesight. If anyone's wondering. I don't see it. Yeah, I see nothing. It could simply not be here, but I have a feeling it is here and I'm just not seeing it. I don't know why I'm flying out of here, I'm just playing around at this point. Um, 1470 meters per second. Ah, uh, yes. But alas, the power draw is too great for this ship to handle. Anyway, how's the chip plant? No, no, um, chip. Yeah, that. Another ten. Oh, goody. That should be it. How many did you need? Another seven? Okay. I was right in front of me. So, there we go. Just seven of them, please. Ah, goody. We'll hand them over and we'll see what happens from there. I hope we're not sent on another fetch quest. Because in essence that was, that's what this is. Yeah. 
This thing requires a little pair to charge. It should say off of you, to be honest. Oh, I just thought we're gonna have to. Um, yeah, we keep Explorer Command. You can take the boost extension because our ship can't handle it. Triplex scanner will leave in this ship for now. Actually, you know what? You can have that triplex scanner. Hey, 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 hey! Jesus. Some people just don't know how to learn how to fly full stop. I have to go and fetch some power cells for this craft. Um the Lancer's Hope. Yeah. Right, so I'll take this ship, get some energy cells, then Or we could just brave the storm with the uh, Lancer's Hope. Because it is the front that I'm basically trying to avoid. But Lancer's Hope is a combat ship. And... Yeah. Our main job is to fight. Yeah, alas. I'm going to try and stick out a fight though. So, it does feel refreshing to have this speed though. Uh, I'm going to be sad to see it go a bit. Nathan's Voyage, Pirates Elite, Pirate Elites and Harriers. Yeah, okay. Ah, right. Can't wait till I get an M7M. That'll be, you know, be quite interesting. Uh, Patriarch's Keep, so north of here. And that should be it. Yep. You'd think Patriarch's Keep would be a um, paranoid sector, but it's a split sector, believe it or not. Yeah, well. Sometimes I just don't understand what the thing may. Oh, Splitter on. They have dragons, they have mambas, so they have a lizard, a snake, they have jaggers. Um, yeah, they're just a bit weird, let's say. Anyway, we'll just grab this. Got to say that a lot of the ships are actually really fast, though. Their method of fighting is to run really fast at the enemy. So yeah, they're. Adventurous are the most one of the most brutal races. So they fight very well, let's just say. Kinda like the Narn, I guess. Or the um Klingon. Which though they have a very simple way of fighting, is very aggressive. I was actually expecting that to stop SATA for me. Well, one more gate. No, two more gates. Uh, then we can get back to our Lancer's Hope. Half the time I'm afraid to actually activate time acceleration because I think these guys are just going to fly into me. Wait a minute, that's like an interesting station. I can't see it clearly from here, but it looks like a dumbbell. What is it? What is it? What is it?
Ooh. It's only got one Gauss cannon though. Oh well. We'll just keep moving and hopefully get back to Albion Gamma. Finish off that mission, see what happens. I'm sorry, this mission, this um, episode has been quite dull. Hmm. Not a lot to say about it. Apart from, I think the music may be a little too loud. If it is, then I have no idea why, because I did set the volume before I even started. Well, whatever. Yes, let's sell it. No, I'm only wrong. Uh, never had any idea why the Osprey was so dear. I mean, it's not really that great a ship. Um, let's see. What do I want from you? Uh, I want a Dalkin computer back. But where is it? There we go, there we go. You can keep the Explorer command software. Right, is there one in Black Hole? There is not. Um, nope. Uh, nope. 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 Uh, right, we'll just continue on foot, so to speak. I was hoping there was a solar power plant I could jump to. That appears not to be though. I think if I exit the south gate of Black Hole Sudden then I can go south of there then that should be a solar power plant. I could be wrong though. I'll have a look. Black Hole Sun, Nathan's Voyage, Ammunition, uh Ooh. They're awfully sparse, aren't they? Solar power plants are very sparse down this area of the galaxy. You can definitely tell where the uh, more developed sectors are. Hmm. Uh, jump to... Black Hole Sun, South Gate. There we go. Stop there, have a look. At Federal Argon Installation, nothing. Nothing. And nothing, okay. See ya. So what about here? Do we have one? Free Argon trading a typical Argon space station. No! Ah, very cruel. Hmm. Gonna just hoof it then, I guess. Hmm, very disappointing. Well, whatever, we'll just use the uh, boost extension. Uh, kind of wishing we had the thing we along with us. Kestrel. 
believe it's the castle, if I remember right. Uh, I remember the starburst was 1,000 meters per second. That's see that. I wish I could buy a starburst. See, the starburst was a racing modified argon. I think it was a discoverer. It looked like, but the ship was um. The sister ship of an ash, another ship called the Arrow, which had comparable speed but a little faster. That's something like 1,500 meters per second or something like that. Anyway. <laughs> oh, hello. Pirate Buster. Oh, hello. Are you coming straight for me? No, you're not quite. It looks like they're attacking them, so I could just blindly charge head first into them. We'll just keep up with that Tomahawk missile. Let's see, 287, I want to see how fast the Tomahawk. Tomahawk 235. Pirate Interesting. Buster. I do like the fact I can keep up with um, Tomahawk missiles when I use the boost extension. I uh, shouldn't be sitting here though. So we'll strafe and I'll bring guns to bear. Probably better if I chose something different. I wonder if they spawn these just to alleviate my boredom. Come on, friendly, creep up please. Thank you very much. Hey, it's completely frozen on me. There we are. Peace. Ah, oh, that seems to be that. Ah, uh, well. Boredom mildly alleviated. Could be alleviated considerably more though. So I have dramatic poses of the cat um ship. Dum dum dum. Ah yes. Anyway. I am wanting to get to the um what's it called? Ah, uh, basically the new plot plot lines for this. It does seem quite interesting to look at. Actually, you know what? It's, this has been going on quite a bit. So what I'll do is I'll go to the solar power plant on my own, which is conveniently right here. It's finally convenient, I've got to say. And in the next episode, we will deliver our microchips. So, no, our computer components. Bleh, you know what microchips are made from. Tastes like it half the time. Anyway, until then, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.